Hi, welcome on Things to Consider. I'm Les Rapchak from Nextflow Air Products, manufactures the compressed air products for blow-off, cooling, moving, and drying. Quite often, we have to combine static elimination with our blow-off products in order to eliminate uh, the static to be able to blow off dust or dirt from a surface. A static bar, which is what I have on my right hand here, is used quite extensively in industry to eliminate static. However, quite often it can be combined with air, of either a blower system or a compressed air system, to be able to uh, take these ions for cleaning applications and also for working at a distance. And I'll show you that in a moment. This is an air knife. This is one of the blow-up products you can combine with the static eliminator. It's ideal for, uh, for example, in automotive industry for blowing off class A surfaces because you get a nice even flow all the way along the unit. So, first thing to consider is do you need air? Uh, air will do one of two things. One, the air obviously does the cleaning of the surface. Once the static is eliminated by the static elimination bar or point, the air behind that will clean the surface. But also, air can carry the ions further. So if you cannot get the static bar close to the surface, you can put air behind it and that will carry the ions a little bit further. However, as the ions are carried, there will be some recombination, so there will be a bit of a weakening of the uh, static eliminating effect uh, when you put air behind it. Uh, there are some people claiming you can take away static at 20 feet away. That's not quite true. Uh, it might work 20 feet away, but it takes time. The further you are away, the more time it will take for that static elimination effect to work because the ions will be weakening as they recombine as you start pushing away from the blow-off product to the surface. So please be aware of that. So uh, the second thing you have to consider in using uh, a static bar is how high is the static charge? Uh, if the static charge on a surface is very, very high, which can be for some materials like rubber uh, or mylar, uh, sometimes a standard static bar will not work. You'll need to have a much more stronger static bar. A stronger air knife will not make any difference. It's really the strength of the static eliminator that makes the difference here. So uh, if you have a very high charge surface, uh, pushing more powerful air on is not going to make a difference. Uh, you have to eliminate that static. So really it's the static bar that's important in this particular situation. And then a speed of the charge surface is very important. If you have a moving surface that's moving very, very quickly, uh, you have less dwell time under that static eliminator, under, those, under that flow of ions. So what happens is you will only eliminate some of the charge. Uh, so two options there are one, increasing the power of the, of the static bar, having a more powerful static bar, and even putting in a second static bar downstream from the first one. So that you get more dwell time under that flow of ions to eliminate that static. So in summary, three things to consider. One, you need the air. The air would be used for pleating, or if you can't hold the static bar uh, close to the surface, you can pull it farther away and the air will help carry the ions. Uh, second thing, how high is the static charge determines the strength of the static bar you need. And finally, the speed of the charge surface and its movement under the static bar will determine uh, the strength of the static bar and even the number of static bars that you will need.